What's the difference between CAT 5E and CAT 6 cable? At NM Cabling we install a range of standard data cabling systems, but the majority over the past 20 years has been CAT 5E and CAT 6. However, the most popular choice is now either CAT 6 or CAT 6A. That doesn't mean that CAT 5E isn't still a popular choice for small installations, especially when it comes to budget and ease of installation. CAT 5E and CAT 6 cables are both types of twisted pair cables commonly used for Ethernet cabling that primarily support IT networks, VoIP systems, AV, and CCTV. The cables to the eye look very similar and there are similarities between the two. However, there are some important differences between them. We discuss below some important differences when choosing either a CAT 5E or CAT 6 cabling infrastructure. Bandwidth and speed. CAT 5E cable supports data transmission at speeds of up to 1000 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, over a maximum distance of 100 meters. The standard for structured cabling is 90 meters in the permanent cable link, and a line 2 by 5 meters patch leads at each end. In contrast, CAT 6 cabling supports higher bandwidth to a standard of 250 MHz. At the standard of 90 meters, this still equates to a capability of 1 gigabit Ethernet. However, at a maximum of 55 meters CAT 6 cabling can support speeds of up to 10,000 megabits per second, 10 gigabits per second. CAT 6 is therefore better suited for high-speed networks in comparison to CAT 5E. Take notice though, that CAT 6A might be the even better option. Crosstalk and noise reduction. CAT 6 cable is designed to comply with stricter standards for crosstalk and noise reduction compared to CAT 5E cabling. The measurement of crosstalk refers to the interference between pairs of twisted copper cores within the cable. Noise can be any external interference on the transmission of that cable. These may include other cables, electricity, lighting, etc. The tighter twists of the CAT6 cabling copper cores help minimize these issues and provide better signal quality. In some CAT6 cables, they also have a central separator core to keep the pairs apart. Cable construction and copper wiring standards. CAT6 cable typically uses thicker gauge copper conductors compared to CAT5E cabling, which we call AWG in size. In addition, the aforementioned central core can improve insulation from crosstalk, resulting in better overall performance. Additionally, the plastic core found in the center of most CAT6 cables helps to separate and maintain the integrity of the wire pairs, reducing crosstalk even further. Cost of each cabling standard. Generally, CAT6 cables are more expensive than CAT5E cables due to their enhanced performance and construction. Typically, as an overall cost per point, CAT6 will be 15 to 20% more than CAT5E installations. However, the cost difference may vary depending on the length, brand, and other factors. Factors can include the difficulty of routes, number of overall cables, containment, and program. It's important to note that the actual performance of any structured cabling network depends on various factors, not only the type of cable installed. These can include quality and manufacturer of the cable, the quality of the installation by the engineers, the containment so it is correct for the cable type, the network equipment it connects to. A fluke tester is used after every installation at NM cabling, so you know that each link is working to the capacity it is supposed to. As we already discussed, depending on requirements and mainly on budget, in many cases, CAT5E cabling may be sufficient. However, in other cases, CAT6 or even higher categories like CAT6A cabling or higher might be what you require for your network. For further assistance or a free survey, please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.